recording. All right, folks. So this is attack techniques for beginners. And you start at Sam's class.info, which I think you all already know. Then you click attack techniques for beginners and you'll find a page. Now this class is structured as a capture the flag competition, but it is not intended, of course, to be a competition where you're struggling and proving that you're, uh, you're the best. It's just a way to organize the material so that people all can work at the right level. One problem with other classes I find is that the advanced students are waiting for the beginning students and so on. And I don't want that to happen. So everybody can focus on things at the level that suits you. So I'm first going to have a quick overview of all the things that are available, and then we'll have detailed introductions to each topic. So um, the way it works in general is you will, there are challenges here to solve, and there are tutorials explaining how to do it. And then you find flags, and you put the flags up here in the scoring engine if you like. Then you'll appear on the scoreboard. Um, you can ignore that if you like, but most people find it fun to keep track of their progress this way. So first, there's complete basics. If you, are, if you don't know binary, we have lessons in learning binary, binary to base 10, and binary to hexadecimal. Um, then we have basic Linux. If you don't know the Linux command line, the versions of Linux, uh, basic commands, you can practice them here. And then there's the famous bandit challenges, which are, um, have been around for a very long time, and they help you learn more advanced Linux commands. And then there is the equivalent thing in PowerShell. So you can practice using the Windows PowerShell command line if you don't know that. Those are fundamental skills you need for doing any kind of attacks. Then we'll have cloud servers to set up. You do not need to run any local virtual machines or download any large software packages. We're gonna use free Google cloud servers for everything. So all the attacks will be happening on machines off your network and you don't need any large amount of bandwidth. And um, then we'll talk about command injection, the simplest type of attack where vulnerable sites let you inject commands in various languages, either bash uh, command line or SQL or Windows command line. And then we have basic networking, the fundamental tools everybody uses, Nmap and Wireshark, and then the Python library, Scapy, which you can use to make custom network packets and simulate any other tool. And there are some advanced sections here that not every student will want to do, but these are more advanced command injection and networking tasks for people who feel ready for that. And then we've got uh, passwords. We're gonna talk about how to get past Windows passwords, how to crack password hashes, and how to set up a few simple blockchains for people that are interested in blockchains and cryptocurrency, which is not a central essential topic, but it is of great interest to some people. Feel free to skip it if that is not interesting to you. And then we're gonna talk about Python, a little bit of Python programming. Um, it turns out that you can't get very far without doing some programming. And if you only know one language, it should probably be Python. It's the most common all purpose language. So we'll set up Python and talk about how it handles strings, bytes, and files, and then have some challenges where you do simple network scans and attacks with Python like port scanning and uh, trying lists of passwords and usernames to brute force your way into HTTP logins. And then a little bit of cryptography, password hashes and Caesar cipher with, with Python. And there's a couple of projects here I may not go through in detail, but if you're interested, you can do artificial intelligence easily with Python, with machine learning, simple projects are not hard, and you can even simulate quantum computers. We're not gonna use real quantum computers, although you can, with IBM, but you can easily install a Python library and practice seeing how quantum computers work. Then we've got Splunk. If you do not know Splunk, you should definitely learn it. It is not an attack tool, but a defense tool. But when you attack servers these days, one of the big issues is that you, uh, the networks are all being monitored. And so you, it's best to understand the defenses at the other end. And this is a fun way to learn Splunk, which is the main SIEM system people use to monitor their networks. And then we got Metasploit, which is the all-purpose attack tool that makes it easy to exploit known vulnerabilities. Um, and so we've got a few lessons in that. The, there's advanced projects here that you can do right away. If all these are too easy for you, go to this page and there are more advanced projects and we have other workshops and classes available as well. So that's a 
simple overview, and then I think we ought to introduce people. I sh maybe I should have done that first, but I'm not all that good at this marketing stuff. So I'm Sam Baum. I teach at City College San Francisco, and I wrote this stuff, and I have three people helping me. There's Elizabeth down there, and uh, you folks, Elizabeth, Caitlin, and Irvin, why don't each of you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm Elizabeth Biddlecombe. I also teach with Sam at City College of San Francisco, and uh, I've been in tech for a lot of years and just kind of recently within the past few years went into teaching um, after career and software and tech and stuff like that. And uh, now um, for the past few years, Sam and I have been uh, teaching at these various conferences. And also, if you are interested in keeping up on the security news, um, Caitlin, Irvin, Sam, and myself, we typically do uh, two New, little homemade news broadcast per week about uh, security news. So uh, you can check that out on Sam's website. He usually updates it with the uh, fresh batch of stories and news each week, and it's a good way to stay current. Oh, and also one more thing before I hand it over to Caitlin and Urban. Uh, we also have a uh, private uh, side company besides our work at the college um, called InfoSec Decoded. So if you need any corporate training for your company or if you know anyone that does, uh, check us out at InfoSecDecoded.com. I should also mention I'm making videos here and people can see them. So if you don't want people seeing you on the webcam, you should not turn it on. There will be videos on the page here. So be aware of that. Go ahead. Uh, so hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Caitlin. Um, I used to be a teacher. Uh, I used to actually teach kindergarten and grade school, uh, but now I do cybersecurity over at NASA. Um, yeah. So that's basically my, uh, my whole thing. Good. And Irvin. Hi everyone, I'm Irvin. Um, I teach cybersecurity at Cabrillo College. I also uh, have run a program that teaches uh, K through 12 and community college students the world of cybersecurity through competitions that spans California, Missouri, and Florida. Great. So, so um, you can reach all of us. We're on the webcams, and you can reach all of us in the chat. And if you want to reach any of us afterwards, all our Twitter handles are up here at the top. So I'm going to stop this recording and then go into more detail about how to do the challenges. So I'm going to stop.